Oh no! <gasps> I hereby present to you Mira Byler's mistakes in the studio. I forgot to tell you guys a huge detail. Uh, okay, the back of this puzzle. This video is brought to you by Squarespace, a place where you can build a beautiful online presence. That's right, run your business with a website, online store, marketing tools, and analytics conveniently in one place. Guys, I am so excited to show you what's going down today. Okay, are you ready for it? Three, two, one. We are painting on puzzle pieces. You saw it in the title and that's, that's what's going down. I've never painted a puzzle before, but this one is a whopping nine pieces. So I'm excited. And shout out to my patron and dear friend Keely for mailing me this. She sent me a box full of, it was like a care package, let me tell you what, like a couple months ago. And I've been dying to paint this. Grab your brushes, your Posca pens, whatever you want to use, and let's create. broke this piece. I can't find my wood glue and super glue didn't work so <laughs> I literally this is what I used. Don't hate but I'm impatient. <laughs> Sorry Keely I broke one of your pieces. <laughs> no I glued my finger. Whoa do you guys remember all these tiny paintings I did? I just found them. Lay out all the pieces. Now, before we put this together, I'm gonna keep you guys on some full out suspense, okay? We need to gesso. I hereby present to you Mira Byler's mistakes in the studio. Guess we weren't messing around. We have a lot of gesso now. I'm just gonna use this as my little tray. Wow. So I just noticed that this piece came chipped and I don't have the rest of it. So I guess we'll roll with uh, some landscape terrain change on this puzzle piece. You know, sometimes you have to roll with your mistakes and I'm actually very pleased to have a puzzle piece palette right here. Prepping for my Posca pens, how's that alliteration? All right, I have a question of the day for you guys. Have any of you done any puzzles lately? And if you have good recommendations for a puzzle, drop it below. I'm kind of on the hunt right now, actually. <laughs> what am I gonna do with the rest of this? <clears throat> Whew, that was hard to get open. I refuse to waste it, so we are putting it back in here. Yes, saved it all. That's how we do. What are you gonna do when you wait on puzzle pieces to dry? Uh, you probably spin in circles. Like this, you know? Pass the time. Instead of watching paint dry, just uh, get dizzy. I'm too old for this, whew. Okay, let's put this together. All I know is this is the middle piece because logic. No need to be so delicate. Let's just... Hey. We have a stubborn puzzle piece on board. That's what you gotta do. Just put that hammer down. I'm on the hunt for a certain kind of object. This kind of object, okay? Let me just show you. I have something really cool in mind, but I do need a perfect, perfect, perfect circle. This isn't a perfect circle, this is not working. Okay, you might be wondering, all right, Mira, why did you take a bottle of gesso and draw a giant red circle, not even in the center of your puzzle? Oh, by the way, 
If you guys are wondering where I put my artwork or what I do with it when I'm finished, usually I do a photo shoot or scan it so I can put it on my online portfolio. And I use Squarespace for that. Squarespace is an online platform where you can build a professional website that stands out. So I use Squarespace to build my online art portfolio using their customizable gallery feature. It's really easy to update and rearrange the order of my pieces. So I'm constantly updating it so potential clients can see my latest projects. Plus, ImageBlox has an automatic image scaling feature, so it gives your site a very clean, polished look. I really like that. Now, if you run a social media page like Instagram and you like convenience, you can pull those images directly from your feed to your website and keep it up to date. Squarespace also provides social media links, so it's really easy for your visitors to follow you on all your social media just by having that on your page. Squarespace has made it really easy for me to build a portfolio, and because of that, I feel really confident showing that to potential clients. So if you're an artist, I hope it helps you feel confident doing the same. Head on over to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash mirabyler to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Once again, that is squarespace.com slash mirabyler to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you so much Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Let's assess the matter here. This glides on really well. All right, let us hope that we can um, do some blending down here with orange. I keep turning this sideways, but... Ooh, honey, that does not... We'll just work with it and hope for the best, you know? Hope for the best. It is warm in this studio. <laughs> okay, I need to brighten this up a little bit because this is a bit of an awkward stage of this. Oh no! <gasps> Not what we wanted to happen. <gasps> oh my goodness, I'm going crazy here. Okay. We have had two giant explosions happen. I might have to let this dry and then layer over it because it's getting pretty muddy. We don't want that. No, 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 we don't. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna let that area dry. Pretend it doesn't exist right now. Sometimes you just have to go through that ugly stage before things look better and you have to believe in yourself, so. If you ever find yourself at this point, don't give up. So I haven't told you what we're drawing yet. <laughs> I think I should, just because this is kind of a different thing. We're doing a hot air balloon and it's gonna be like the old, old kind of hot air balloons with a mirror twist, of course. Now for the fun part. Let's do the foreground. Hopefully I don't mess this up, but I like to be positive, you know. Life is an adventure. I started doing some little like blendy things up in the sky. I don't know how I feel about it yet, but it's working, you know? Ooh, that really brightens things up. Yes. So our hot air balloon is just this like globe floating in the sky. Oh, we can't do that. No, let's, let's change it up. Okay. 
Have any of you guys ever flown in a hot air balloon before? My hometown actually had this like hot air balloon festival and it was so cool. It was like the thing to do in the summer, but I haven't been to it in a long time because I don't live there anymore. Ooh, I need to do a little basket. <laughs> Did you hear that knuckle crack? <laughs> do I want to do like a round basket or like a square basket? Have you guys ever seen that Aeronauts movie? Oh my word, it's so good. If you haven't, highly recommend. Okay, I have an idea for this. I hope it works. I kind of want to make like half the basket highlighted and then like half the basket kind of moody and dark like the landscape at the bottom. I'm trying to decide what I want to do with this, like a grassy field or like desert or I don't know. Um, what if I do like a little bit of both? I am literally painting a puzzle right now. Like, what? This is fun. Like, whoa. I mean, it's only a nine piece puzzle, but ah. We're letting some stuff dry right now while I chit chat, but uh, we're about to add some fun stuff. All right, I'm admittedly nervous for this part because I'm drawing netting around the balloon. How am I gonna do this? This is sad, I feel like I'm gonna ruin this. <sighs> well, so far, so good. I'm doing like the old fashioned kind of hot air balloons because, well that Aeronauts movie is really good so you should watch it. It's on, I, I wanna say Amazon Prime. I kind of want to do like a little sandbag hanging over. I just think that's cute, you know? Now perhaps a little stream coming through here. This is so fun. I keep saying that, but like, I don't know how much more I can emphasize it. Well, I took like an hour break. Got some wild blueberry tea. And now we're ready to paint again, so. This is where we're at right now. So I was looking at this while I was enjoying that tea. And I think we need to outline the basket. It's just not popping enough, you know? Now I wanna do some vegetation down here. We're gonna get rid of this little chunk of purple. I don't like it. These clouds literally brought this piece to life. I'm like really into drawing scenery lately, like mostly water, I would say. <laughs> but even this kind of stuff is it's just so enjoyable. It's so refreshing. And I think it's because I have the travel bug right now and I can't actually go anywhere because none of us really can, but you know, it does inspire some cool artwork. So that's a positive.
You know, I think of all the customization projects I've done, this might be the most enjoyable one that I've done with Posca pens anyway. I really, really like doing shoes, um, but this is just uh, a nice refreshing thing. This is like a wild flower field over here to the side. <laughs> Why not? Right in the middle of the desert, there's gonna be a magical flower field. Hmm, what kind of plant should I do here? I wanna do something like silhouetted in the foreground, you know? It's not really a desert plant, but you know, I think we've established at this point <laughs> this is a made up place. Yay, I think I finished it. I think. I'm gonna try to hold it up without the puzzle falling apart, so let's do that. I forgot to tell you guys a huge detail, and now we're at the end of the video. Uh, okay, the back of this puzzle is magnetic. So we're gonna hang it on the fridge. Anyway, this was really scary to pick up. I'm like actually afraid to be holding it right now. But this, this is what it looks like now that it's done. As I said, I'm really enjoying doing stuff with nature. It's really freeing right now since we're home, you know? Can't go anywhere, may as well paint the places you wish to see. So here we go. And this is a made up place because a lot of this vegetation doesn't even like belong together, so meh. I hope you enjoyed this. I am uh, terrified to take this puzzle apart, so I might just like leave it together for a day or two before I do that because uh, I just wanna let this stuff soak in and I might varnish it to seal it in, extend the life, I don't know. If you guys made it this far in the video, comment the word cactus down below and I will give you a gold star in the comments. That's today's game, so for all you guys who hung around, a big thanks to you. I'll try to give you guys gold stars. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this inspired you and I hope you have a good day. Bye.